I am a gymnast. I am a gymnast. I am a gymnast. Only four teams have done it before. Claim the sought-after title of champion. In a battle of athleticism, beauty, and power. Four inches of wood. 17 meters of floor. Can mean the difference between victory and defeat. It's about the heart of past champions and the medal of rising challengers. I am a gymnast. I am a gymnast. I am a gymnast. Am a gymnast. It's the 2004 NCAA Gymnastics Championship. to the 2004 Women's NCAA Gymnastics Championships. We join you from Pauley Pavilion on the campus of UCLA. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Bonnie Bernstein, and this year UCLA gets the home gym advantage as the Bruins try to defend their title and clinch their fourth title in the last five years. And the remaining five teams in this year's Super Six hoping to dethrone them. Perennial powerhouse Alabama, Utah trying to take home its record 10th title. Florida back in the Super Six after a five-year hiatus. Stanford with a senior-laden squad and the Georgia Gym Dogs here at the NCAA Championships for the 21st straight year. And as always, I'm joined by 1996 Olympian Amanda Borden. For the most part, UCLA ranked number one throughout the season. They are the obvious favorite. The Bruins chock full of Olympians and national champions and a whole lot of veteran leadership. That's right. They always have a stacked lineup. Senior Jamie Dancer not quite up to par this year because of injuries. So the pressure falls on Jeanette Antolin and Kate Richardson. But a huge confidence boost for the Bruins is having 2000 Olympian Kristen Maloney back in the lineup on all four events. So the big question is, who gives UCLA a run for its money. What do you think? Well, vying to knock them off the top is the 2002 champions, University of Alabama. They also have this year's all-around champion in Gina Rice, and she is backed by a solid and deep lineup, including powerhouse Ashley Miles. A team looking for their first title ever is Stanford. They've had an outstanding season this year, coming into the competition ranked second. They edged out UCLA for the Pac-10 title. And although they have a young leader in Natalie Foley, the secret behind their success is an overall team package. They have four solid all-around competitors, and this could be the year that they land on top. Six gymnasts per team per event. The lowest scores drop, so squads have one and really only one mistake to make if they want to stay in the thick of things. Alabama begins this competition on vault, Utah on bars, Stanford on beam, UCLA on floor, and a little bit of history being made at this year's NCAA championships. All four events held on elevated podiums for the first time, very similar, Amanda, to the Olympics and the U.S. and World Championships. Well, it does have a much more formal feel. As far as the effects, though, all of the events will have more bounce in spring. And it can be both good and bad, depending on how the athletes handle it. Greg Marston with a little bit of spring in his step as his Utes posted the highest score among all six regional championships. And Dominique D'Oliveira gets things started on bars for Utah. Dominique hailing from South Africa, where her mom, Catherine, traveled all the way over to the States from just to watch her daughter compete. Dominique is a very aggressive bar swinger. She moves into a release sequence right here. Great amplitude on the ginger. Nice form. Oh, you can see. Oh. Oh, she tried to save it. Shoots a handstand there. Trying to hit the handstand, which is very important, and just got a little too much swing. Hitting those handstands on shootovers and stuff is so important, Amanda, isn't it? Because it really separates the 9-8s from the 9-9s. Nine -nine. You can see right there, she was really trying to drop it in right on top. Got a little hyperextended. Tried to save it. Just had to take the fall. Mom in the stands, concerned. As Utah's leadoff performer on bars, we know at the get-go, Amanda, that the Utes really can't afford to make another mistake. It puts a lot of pressure on those last five competitors. Looking for still a clean dismount. And you can see a step also on the landing. Dominique, Utah's leadoff on bars. And 
Greg Marsden, understandably a look of concern on his face, not quite the start he was looking for. And a 9.05 for Dominique de Oliveira. As we hear the floor music in the background, and there's Valerie Condos Field, 14th year at the helm for UCLA. The Bruins start nationals this year on floor where Val personally choreographed each and every one of her gymnast routines, and this is one of the Bruins' best dancers, Yvonne Tusek. The girls feel like it's a gift that they get a new routine every single year. Of course, unique choreography and unique music is what UCLA is known for. Yvonne is naturally a regal dancer, but Val said one of the things she's really worked on this year is her presentation. You might see a smile or two in her floor routine, which is not something that Yvonne's terribly comfortable with, but she said, if it helps my score, it'll help the team, and it's something that I'll focus on. This is her last tumbling pass. Front full, front pike, beautiful landing. Yvonne is not the lone two-sec in this year's Super 6. Her sister Chantel is a freshman at Florida, so her parents coming down from Canada get double their money's worth. Which is not a bad deal. <laughs> and Yvonne Tusek, a 9-9 for the UCLA Bruins. Kristen Smith, what an amazing job she's done with Stanford. She arrived in Palo Alto in 2001, took them to the Super 6 that year. This year, a record-setting season. The Cardinal 20-3, winning both the Pac-10 and the regional championships as we join Natalie Foley in progress on beam. This can be a very difficult event to start out on. Not only that, but then you have the home team on floor. Making a lot an awful lot of, of noise. <laughs> Takes a lot of concentration. There's a lot of adrenaline coming right out into the competition. Got to control it on this event, especially. Our gym series, our leap pass, switch leap, straddle jump, straddle jump, showing great flexibility. Leap series, one of the several requirements on beam. And Bonnie, she has a very difficult dismount. Quite often in college, we see the more simpler dismounts looking for a stick. She's performing a round off double tuck. Beautiful. Wow. Very difficult to stick a landing like that. Well, athletics certainly runs in the Foley family. Natalie's father, Steve, was a defensive back for the Denver Broncos. As we see a 9-8-7-5 for Natalie and Sarah Patterson now. For 26 years, she's guided Alabama to four national championships, 19 regional titles, five SEC titles. And this year, her cornerstone, a senior hailing from Longwood, Florida, Gina Rice now up on vault. Gina, not surprising anyone coming into these finals, as she is the individual all-around champion. Wow. And the ever most common, Yurchenko full now with the new horse. Didn't quite stick the landing, but beautiful height. Yeah, we'll see that vault a few times, or 10 or 20 throughout this competition, and a 9-9 for Gina Rice. UCLA's Kristen Maloney, and Amanda, I think you'll agree with me, it's strange to see Kristen in a leotard simply because for the last two years, she's been out with a stress fracture. She's had four surgeries on her shins, but finally, Kristen Maloney is back. Almost everyone didn't think I'd be back at all. Co my coaches included, like, everyone, my family, doctors, my coaches, my friends, like, everyone didn't think I'd come back. So being able to come back, um, it's just the greatest feeling ever. It just makes me appreciate gymnastics a whole lot more. And when you think about what Kristen's had to overcome, her father was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma back in 2002. So all of these emotions that Kristen had to cope with. Watch this first tumbling pass. Beautiful double layout. Very nice. She's not only amazing just at being back here in this sport, but she tumbles like she's never left it. You think she's at full strength? You know, as a viewer, she definitely looks like it. I don't see how you wouldn't think that. In fact, Val feels like she's even stronger now. Second tumbling pass, whip, immediate double pike. Beautiful landing. Val called Kristen the most mentally tough athlete she's ever worked with. And really what impressed her was that for the two years while Kristen was hurt, she still would do bars and conditioning every single day with no guarantees at all that she'd ever be cleared to do gymnastics again. Well, and I can relate to that situation, although I never had a two-year break. Sometimes injury time is the best time to get physically strong, but more importantly, mentally tough.
Houston, by the way, on floor while Stanford's Natalie Foley was up on beam as Maloney prepares for her final tumbling pass. Very nice two and a half twist. She had clean landings on all three landings. Nice job. Kristen is senior, but she'll have an extra year of redshirt eligibility, so she will be back as a Bruin next year. Father Richard, good news for him. His cancer is in remission. And good news for UCLA is Maloney posts a 9925.